A scenario is a built-in tool in Excel that enables you to save multiple sets of input values affecting the same exact calculation and be able to switch between the different sets. When combined with other tools, it enables you to use Excel in a presentation style. I am Nabil Murad. In this tutorial, I show you how to impress your audience in the next board meeting by taking the Scenario Manager functionality to a whole different horizon. So let's dive in. Here is my start file. You can download the exercise file and follow along by clicking on the link below this video. In this worksheet, I have a list coming from Uriprice Store. They sell different categories of products, but for each category, they have one single unique price, regardless of the different styles of that product. So in column A, I have the product category. In column B, I have the price. In column C, I have the number of units sold. And then in column D, we multiply the units by the price to get the sales amount. In column E, I have the cost of products. And in column F, we subtract the cost from the sales to get the gross profit. By adding up the gross profit, then in cell F12, I have the total gross revenue for the company. And what I would like to do is to create some sets of values for the different promotions like Black Friday, Valentine's Day, or Feathers Day, where we offer different types of promotions on different categories of products. And I would like to be able to save all these options so as to switch between one set of prices to another. And to do that, I use the Scenario Manager. What is a scenario? A scenario is a built-in tool in Excel that enables you to save multiple sets of input values like the price, affecting the same exact calculations like the sale, the cost, and the gross profit, and be able to switch between the different sets. A scenario is saved along the workbook. So let's see how we create a scenario. And because I always want to be able to revert to the original values, then the first scenario I'll be saving will be the original values that are currently available in the worksheet. To create a scenario, I go to the data tab of the ribbon, I click on the down arrow of what if analysis, and from the menu I select Scenario Manager. The Scenario Manager dialog box opens, and as you can see, I don't have any scenarios. And what I would like to do is to save the original prices as my first scenario. So I click on Add. The Add Scenario dialog box opens. I will give a descriptive name to my first scenario. And because it saves the original values, then I'm going to name it Original Values. By changing cells, I select the cell that will be changing from one scenario to the other scenario. And in my case, I'll be selecting all the prices. I could write a comment, and when I hit OK, the Scenario Values dialog box opens. In the Scenario Values dialog box, this is where I change the prices. I can change the price of item in B4, B5, B6, and so on. But here are two issues. Because I'm saving the original values, then I'm not going to make any change in my first scenario. I also want to draw your attention that we are changing prices then we are affecting the company revenue. This is sensitive information. So if by mistake you change the price for category in B5, assuming that this is the category in B6, then that will be a big mistake. And the reason for that, the cell reference is not really descriptive. And in my second scenario, I'm going to combine it with another functionality that will make it easier for me to create the subsequent scenarios. For now, I'm going to hit OK. And here is my first scenario, original values. Let's close this dialog box and we'll come back in a moment. Before creating my next scenario, I would like to name each individual cell by using the row label for that category. And to do this, I select the category column and I select the different prices. I go to the formula tab of the ribbon and click on create from selection. The shortcut is control shift F3 and here the create name from selection dialog box opens and the left column is checked. I hit OK and I would have named each cell by the row label. Let's check if I click on the down arrow for the name box and I select let's say 
pens automatically the price for pens is recognized that will make my life a lot easier when i create my subsequent scenarios so the next scenario i want to create is for black friday where we offer special promotion or special reduced price for all the products and to create a scenario i go to the data tab of the ribbon click on the down arrow of what if analysis and select scenario manager alternatively i can hit the shortcut alt a w s the scenario manager dialog box opens i want to create another one i hit add i want to give it a name black friday by changing cells, it's the same range from B4 to B11, and then I hit OK. Look at the difference. Now when changing prices, I will never get confused because I can see the category name. Now let's reduce the prices. I'm going to reduce the prices of each category. So let's make this one 15. I go to the next one and I make it 25. The next one I'll make it 21. The next one I'll make it 35. For the shoes, I'll make it like 29 i go further down for the ties i'll make it 14 and then for the lingerie i'll make it 20 i go further down by hitting tab and for the pajamas i'll make it 18 and then i hit ok here is the black friday scenario my next scenario will be useful when we receive a new collection and prices go a little up so i want to create a new scenario i click on add I call it new collection by changing the same range of cells. I hit OK. And this time I'm going to increase the price a little bit for the new collection. And I hit OK. And now we have three scenarios. On Valentine's Day, we make a special promotion for ladies' items. So let's create a Valentine's Day scenario. I click on Add, and then I call it Valentine's Day. By changing the same exact range of cells, I hit OK, and I'm going to change the prices. Let's say for the skirts, I'm going to reduce the price to 19, and then I hit Tab for the dresses. I'll be reducing the price to 32, and then I go further down for the lingerie, we'll make it 16, and I go further down for the pyjamas, I'll make it 18. I hit OK. Now I have four scenarios. And finally, on Father's Day, we reduce the price of men's items. So I would like to create one last scenario for Father's Day. I click on Add. And here I'm going to name it Father's Day. I hit OK. And I'll be reducing the price for T-shirts. I hit Tab. We will reduce the price for pants and then we'll reduce the price for shoes and ties i hit ok and i would have created five scenarios let's close the dialog box and now let's see the benefit of creating scenarios now the numbers that i see correspond to the regular price and the total revenue that we see is based upon the regular prices but what if i want to switch to one of the other scenarios that we created in this case, I go to the data tab of the ribbon, I click on what if analysis and select scenario manager, or use the shortcut Alt A W S. I want to see the Black Friday scenario. Keep an eye on the effect on the total revenue. Keep an eye on the price column. Look at all the calculations changing. If I select Black Friday and then I hit show, this is the total revenue for Black Friday prices. If I want to switch to new collection prices, I select new collection and then hit show. If I want to see the Valentine's Day prices, I click on Valentine's Day and click show. And if I select the Father's Day and then I hit show, now I'm switching from one set of value to another set. Should you wish to revert to the original values, then just select original values and then hit show. If I'm the marketing manager of a company, then I would like to see the effect of each one of these scenarios side by side on the total company revenue. And in this case, in the scenario manager dialog box, I can click on summary, keep an eye on the sheet tabs. When I hit summary, it will ask me, would you like to create a scenario summary that shows the effect on cell F12? Excel was able to find the highest level of calculation, which is the total revenue. Then when I hit OK, look at that. 
a new sheet has been created and in the new sheet I can see side by side the current values, the original values, the Black Friday, new collection, Valentine's Day and Father's Day and in F12 I can see the effect on the total revenue for each one of these scenarios. I want to go back to the start worksheet and here I want to show you that scenarios are worksheet specific. What does it mean? If I go to the next worksheet, which has the same exact products but with different numbers coming from a different store, so when I go here, I have the same exact categories of products but with different numbers of units. The same scenarios can apply to this set as well, but unfortunately when I go to the Data tab, click on What If Analysis and select Scenario Manager, I don't have any scenario because the scenarios are worksheet specific. But in case the same scenario applies to another work situation, then in this case you can merge scenarios between different sheets by clicking on the Merge command. If I click on Merge, here it asks me where are the scenarios that you want to merge. They are in the Start worksheet. I select the Start and then hit OK. And now I have the different scenarios. I can switch between them exactly as I did in the previous sheet. So I select Black Friday and hit Show. I can select Father's Day and then hit Show. I close the Scenario Manager dialog box. And now I want to go back to the Start Worksheet. And every time I want to switch from one scenario to the other, I have to perform the following steps. I have to go to the Data tab, click on What If Analysis, select Scenario Manager, select the scenario and then click Show. To switch to another one, I have to repeat the same steps over and over again. But what if I'm able to switch between the different scenarios and communicate insights about my data on the fly as if I'm using Excel in a presentation style? This requires combining the functionality of Scenario Manager with customizing the Quick Access Toolbar as I'm going to do right now. So to customize my Quick Access Toolbar, I click on the down pointing arrow to the right side and then I select More Commands. The Excel Options dialog box opens, and this is the Customize Quick Access Toolbar. I have two panes, a pane on the left and a pane on the right. The right one represents my Quick Access Toolbar, and the pane on the left represents the different commands. But the command that I'm looking for is not a popular command. It's a command that's not available in the ribbon. So if I change my selection from the first drop list, and I select Commands Not in the Ribbon, I get an alphabetical listing of the command that are not in the ribbon, so if I hit S to jump to scenario, here is the command that I'm looking for. That's not the regular scenario manager. It's a drop list that will enable me to switch scenarios on the fly. I select the command and then I hit Add, and now keep an eye on the quick access toolbar. When I hit OK, now I can see the command and look at the beautiful functionality. Now if I click on the down pointing arrow of the newly added command, I can switch from one scenario to the other just by selecting that scenario from the drop list and I'm using Excel in a presentation style. All the prices change, the total gross revenue changes and that is reflected on my chart. If I click on the down pointing arrow and I select a different scenario, let it be the new collection. I can see all the prices changing. My chart is reflecting the changes. I can move to the Valentine's Day scenario. I can switch to Father's Day scenario and I can go back to the original value scenario. I'm using Excel in a presentation style and you will be impressing your boss, your clients and colleagues. If you found value in this tutorial, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel to be notified when new tutorials are released. The best is yet to come. Thanks for watching and see you next time.